Let, let me tell you what I love about Nudge and see if I can pull you into greater love of Nudge. Uh, even greater. Even greater. Take the products today which governments ban. Put aside nuclear weapons and violent products. Uh, we should unban them and as my colleague Robin Hansen suggests, put them all in a store called the banned product store. And the government will spend a lot on big signs. These are bad for you. Don't buy them. There will be all kinds of negative advertising, but the store will be there. So we're going to nudge people a lot not to buy these products. But in fact, we could move from current bans and mandates to having them available, but lots more nudges. So I want maybe more nudges than you do, or is that not true? Are you the nudge critic? No, no, you may be right, but we'd have to think of what the thing is. And then Everyth we'd have to do Everything the banned that's not violent. Uh, Heroin, cocaine. Well, uh, I worry with respect to heroin, not being an expert on heroin, but I worry that it is uh, nearly instantaneously addictive and extremely tempting to a wide range of people in different life circumstances. To be a heroin addict is really, really rough. Sure. So to nudge people and not to take the step we, we have now taken uh, might leave you know, a lot of tragedy around. Now it is true that the heroin ban does not eliminate heroin and it has ancillary consequences that aren't good. But I would uh, say with respect to some product, let's say it's, it's a food where the, there's a 1 over X of death from consuming it, and X is not that high a number, to say to people, you know, you can have this, note that your death risk is 1 over X. I mean, why is it so great to shift from banning the thing to allowing people to have it when you're going to see a lot of bodies on the streets. Say I'm dying of a terminal disease and there's a treatment, it probably won't help me, but there's a one-tenth of one percent chance that it will. And I want to use it as kind of a self-defense argument. And I say, well, self-defense, that's like a minimal value we, we all would agree upon. I love nudge. Let's take the FDA out of the picture and just put it in the banned product store and have big, huge signs, bad music surrounding it, disco, whatever we need to do. <laughs> Uh, no, that, that's telling a, that it's not any good, but let me buy it. We need, so I we, want more nudge than you okay, do. Okay, so you might. So, but but I'm open to these ideas. So, uh, in, in a case where someone has a terminal illness and there's a drug that has an extremely low probability of working, uh, th there's a good argument that on welfare grounds they should they should get that because the chance of death without that, let's stipulate, is 100 percent. And the chance of despair without that is also 100%. So if people's tastes are such that they want to spend their money on a very small risk of living, uh, it's, it's possible to say, that's in the store, your store. <laughs>